Welcome everyone, I'm in the middle of the desert with Ryan and I've been here a number of times and the location that I am standing in front of is always secured, always closed up, but has fallen on disrepair, abandoned and under the threat of being bulldozed. And it just so happens, on our way by here, the door is unlocked. Yes, it and is. And we are going to go inside of, prepare yourself now, the Large Marge Diner from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Right there. Join me. And Ryan. Woo! Shall you? It looks like someone has busted in the door that leads inside the old, decrepit diner. Hello? 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 It's a tight squeeze through here. like the roof was caved down. Yeah, the roof came down. So in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, this is where Pee Wee, right over there in that corner, was washing the dishes. This is where Paul Rubens was standing. The scene right in here. Okay, be careful going under here. Be careful going under here. Wow, look at this. This is the kitchen from the diner, from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's still grease in the fryers. Okay, we're going into the main section of the diner. Oh, holy cow. Right there is where Pee Wee sat. And he said, my wallet's gone. Hello? Did you hear that? I did. I think it might just be the wind knocking the door back and forth. It is. I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah, look at this milkshake machine. The coffee's still here. And the last time this place was open was September of 2013. The coolest thing about being in here is the fact that the mural dedicated to Large Marge was right there. The Large Marge you were riding with was her ghost. And right there was her photo, the candelabra, right there. I was in here a few years ago with my friend Justin Scard when this place was opened and we ate here and I documented it in my Pee Wee's Big Adventure filming location video. But it was full of people eating and the waitresses were here, the owners were here. Now it's abandoned. This is so creepy. Large Marge herself could haunt this place. Wow. This whole thing is like all memories and stuff. Holy cow. That is insane. Halloween 1998. Here's a bunch of old postcards. Look at this. A bunch of old postcards. Going in? Yeah, I'm going. Going in the cooler? I was just waiting for like homeless people to be in here. I'm like, why am I trying, trying to turn the light on? Yes! We're inside the milk cooler. Look at this. There's, like, there's still some seltzer water right yeah, I was here. Say, just can't even drive. In the movie Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Pee-wee would have walked up right here, stood right here, and said, Large Marge sent me. 
I always wanted to spin one of these, and now I have. The picture of Large Marge was hanging right there. That's the booth. You ain't from around here, are you? Oh, that's just weird. This is like... Yeah, what's in there? Yeah, this is the bathroom. <laughs> Look at the door that they've got all blocked up. Hello? Uh, this is really odd, we're not. Okay, this is creepy. This is definitely creepy. You really can't see anything in here. What is this? Some kind of... Whoa! It's a Plinko <gasps> machine! Wow. Now that's cool. The old Cabazon dinosaur wheel-in restaurant coloring pages. Imagine jabbing your hand down on there, your palm, right on there. Ah, ah, ah. Oh man, look at that relic. That's cool. Look at that. Check out this old photo of happier times here at the Wheel Inn restaurant, taken right in this exact spot. Right there. It's kind of sad. The old spatulas and the grease still stained on here. Look at this gnarly old stove. That has been here a long time. The roof, there's a better view of the roof caving in. Yeah, <laughs> I had to, man, I had to. Pretty creepy, what's inside there? Let's find out. Oh, that's cool. oh yeah, it's like a smoker of some sort. Oh man, that's something out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre right there, these flaps. This is like a sauna. Are we die? What the heck, man? Yeah, this was a lo very large kitchen. These are old letters that went in a sign. So there's like different letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All three there. No, I think it's for something in here. So you look. Oh, because this was like the banquet hall, right? So, you mean so these are the letters for the banquet hall. As you enter in the banquet hall, that's what they would change the lettering of. This is huge. Okay, this is getting creepier by the second. This is, look at all these meat lockers. Oh, that smells awful. Oh yeah, that's gross. The interesting thing that I was able to get inside of there is the fact that for the last couple of years, occasionally I will swing by the Cabazon dinosaurs and just check to see if the diner is accessible. And I lucked out today, the door was ajar, it was open, able to just wander right in and document a piece of abandoned movie history. I don't know if that place is going to be bulldozed, torn down, who knows what the future holds, but I wanted to document it as a movie fan, a Pee Wee's Big Adventure fan. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. Check out my other channel, my second channel, my daily vlog channel. Subscribe to that also. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And say goodbye to this guy. Bye. Bye, everyone. Did you have fun? I did. That it was, was awesome, super right? Fun. That was.
One last thing, I'll put a link to my Pee Wee's Big Adventure video back when the diner was open down below. And I'll also put a video of what the upstairs of the diner looks like. About a year and a half ago, I was able to get up into the upstairs. Both those videos will be found down below. See you later. You ain't from around here, are you? <laughs> what? <laughs>